Hi, let's solve one previous question of code generation compiler. This question was asked in GATE CS 2010, question number 37. The program below uses six temporary variables A, B, C, D, E, F. Here some intermediate representation is given. Assuming that all operations take their operands from register, what is the minimum number of registers needed to execute this program without spelling? Without spelling means without store. And in four options, four numbers are given and it is asking what will be minimum number of registers required for writing machine instruction for this code. There are three methods for finding register. One is through graph coloring algorithm. Second is through level expression tree. Third is writing the machine instruction. Let me first do by level expression tree. So for that we need to create expression tree for this instruction. We will start from this statement d equal to a plus b. We will create one node for a, another node for b, another node for plus. And for plus left child will be a, right child will be b. And we will add d for plus. Next we will do for c plus d. D is already there, so we'll create another node for C, another node for plus. For plus, C will be its left child, while D will be its right child. And this plus node is for E. Next, we'll do for C plus E. C is there, E is there. So we'll create another node for plus. Left child will be C, E will be its right child. And this node will be for F, also for B. You can mark F is for C plus C, B is for C plus E. So C plus E is for F also for B. Next B plus F. This same node is for B also for F. So we'll create another node plus. Its left child will be this plus. Its right child will be also same node. And this node is for E. Next 5 plus E equal to D. E is already there. We'll create another node 5. And for plus 5 will be its left child, e will be its right child. And this node will level as d. Next return d plus f, this d and this f. So we'll create another node, its left child will be d, right child will be f. If you are confused for constructing DAG, you can write in SSA form, then you can create the DAG. Like this d is different from d, you can assign some number like d0, d1. Here also this is B0, B1. You can write in single state assignment form. Then you can construct the DAG for this. And DAG is also a type of syntax tree or DAG is also an expression tree. Either you can create the syntax tree or DAG. It's okay. Now expression tree is constructed. Next I will add the level. For every leaf level will be 1. For A, for B, for C and for 5 level will be 1. Next, we will do for intermediate code. Now, for D, both child have equal level. So, it will be 1 plus 1, 2. Now, for E, both have different level. It will be larger level. Means, level will be 2. Next, for this node, one child have level 1, another child have level 2. So, its level will be 2. Level of the higher child. Next, for this node, both child have level 2. When both have equal level, we will add plus 1. So for E node level will be 2 plus 1, 3. Now for this D node, one child have level 1, another child have level 3. So higher level will be D level, it will be 3. Next for this plus node, one child have level 3, another child have level 2. So it will be level 3. The root level is 3, means we require 3 register for writing machine instruction for this. So answer will be option B, 3. This is one method designing level expression tree. Another method you can write the machine instruction like for A we can load into R1, B we can load into R2, C we can load into R3. Let me also maintain register descriptor for this R1, R2, R3, R1 contain A, R2 contain B, R3 contain C. Next we will do this addition. A is in R1, B is in R2 and after this A don't have any use or you can say A is not live. So you can use R1. Add R1, R1, R2. Now R1 will contain D. 
it will add R1, R2 and result will be in R1. Next we will do C plus D, C is in register, D is in register. So add R1, R3, R1. R3 contains C, R1 contains D. So C plus D, E will be in R1. Now R1 will contain E. Next we will do for this statement f equal to c plus e, c is in r3, e is in r1. So try down r, r2, r3, r1. Now r2 contain f. Next statement is also same b equal to c plus e. It's like copy statement. We can write f equal to b. So r, r2, r3, r1 or simply unregistered descriptor you can write b. Now R2 will contain F and B. Next, E equal to B plus F. B, F both are in R2. So, try down R, R1, R2, R2. Now, result will be in E. So, R1 contain E, R2 contain B and F. Next, D equal to 5 plus E. 5 we can add directly. R, R3, hash 5 that is for number 5, R1. Now R3 will contain D. Next we need to return D plus F. So we need to store D and F. Then we can do the addition. So store R3 content into D. And store R2 content into F. Either you can create the level expression tree. Or you can write the machine instruction. We record 3 register. And there is also another way. Graph coloring algorithm. Whichever method you find easy. You just use that. So here answer is option B. It's 3. 3 register record for writing machine instruction. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.